What is up, everybody? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 21 from my playthrough for The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. As always, if you guys do enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, don't forget, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 as I stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday for you guys. So turn on the notifications so you don't miss out on any of those live streams. So, guys, in the last episode, we actually discovered a Faron region. So, in this video, we are actually going to head over to that little Sheikah Tower over there and discover a whole new region. But off screen, I actually did a couple things. I upgraded my tunic, and I got a few more weapon slots, and I cashed in my heart containers in order to get two more. So, we're just going to keep grooving along here and make our way across this bridge to the next Sheikah Tower. Check this out. We made it to the Bridge of Highland, which is just like a phenomenal bridge, but it's kind of destroyed and all that. But the Electric Dragon always flies through here. Like, when I first played through the game, this is where I found him at, right here. Before I knew where he spawned and all that. But we can actually make our way across this bridge. I believe there's some enemies and stuff over here. And then make our way to that Sheikah Tower. And we got a nice little cool region. And luckily we have a scale of Farosh. Which is the Electric Dragon. Because we're going to need that in order to unlock a shrine. But check this out. We got our boys just chilling here. Give me my regular arrows. See if I can knock them off this ledge. Oh, get off this ledge. Hit them in the face or something. Yeah, see you later. <laughs> whooped. Whooped on them. Look at that. Just punked on them all. There we go. We're going to pick up this because we have a few more extra weapon slots now. Look at us. We're grooving along now. What we got in this chest? What we got for me? A Zora Spear. I guess we'll take it because we have some extra weapon slots. But what you want, Pool? What you want? <laughs> yo, you want an arrow to the face? Whoa! Yo, he's coming after me. Get out of my face. What you got for me? We'll take this Lazal boomerang. It's all right. Take your little material, too. Check it out. This is actually one of the cooler regions in here. I don't know why I like it. Because one of the quests that we have to do in order to get a shrine is like in like a rainforest area. You got to travel through it. I don't know. I just really like it. Look at us. We have now made it to the lake tower after traveling this path with all these enemies. It was kind of annoying. But this is the lake area. Because there's a big lake over the bridge of Hylia. But, <laughs> but now we can actually start climbing up here and everything. Well, we have some decent stamina. I want more. Like, I really do want more stamina. But I'm focused on the hearts right now because I want to show you guys something with all the hearts. And then we can just focus on stamina after that. But we can actually keep climbing up here. Making our way over here. We are getting to the top soon. Hey, hey. Get down. There you go, Link. Build your stamina up. Look, we got a shrine over there and all that. You can see a few things. We're going to try to scan for shrines after we hit the top of here. Come on. This is a big tower. I feel like this one's bigger than normal, but I don't know. But we're just going to keep climbing up here using our jumps. Can we make it? Can we make it? Come on. Where am I at? Where am I at on the ledge? Oh, we can make this one. Get up here. Oh, look. Like I said, he flies over the little bridge and all that. Look at him. Look how big he is. Dude, I remember first seeing this guy. and I was like, what the heck is that? Yo, dude, he looks sick. Dude, I could not hit him with an arrow from here, but that would be sick. But let's distill this piece of the map into our Sheikah Slate. And then get grooving along. Boom, baby! Look at this. This is the lake region. So now we unlock this. I actually want to mark some things on my map before we head down. Because I want to do a couple shrines for this video. Maybe fight a few enemies. We have a good time here. But where was that shrine at? There's that one over there where the stable is. I think that's an easy shrine. I actually want to mark something else on my map. I believe if you make the path all the way over here. Yes, this is where I want to go right here. This is a big part on the map. So we're going to head to those two places. What is that? Is that another shrine? Look at that. Look at that shrine chilling over there. Is that in the lake side? Is that, is that for this thing? I don't know. It might be. But there's three shrines that we can do. Let's check out the other side. Look at my boy, the dragon. He's just grooving along. What we got over here? Anything? I don't really see anything down here. No. Nope. Nothing. All right, cool. Which one should we do first? All right, I feel like we're just going to glide over there and go over to that village so we can buy some arrows and do that shrine over there. So let's head over there. Finally making it over to these stables over here. We're going to climb up these rocks and do this shrine right here. But I got to show you guys something once we reach the top of here. Because it's actually pretty funny. Like in this field over here, which I had to run through. Can we see any of them? But look at all these Baku boys just riding the horses. They were just chasing after me and everything. Like swinging at me. It was hilarious. <laughs> making it into the shrine. It's called Metal Doors Open the Way. So I guess we have to bring out our Magnesis. And open the metal doors. We just pull them out. And it creates an opening for us. Now we got to figure out what we have to do here. I, guess I see a metal door to the left right here, so I'm guessing we're just going to go open that. See what we got there. What? What's this little guardian doing? He's like one hit. A little spider. What you want, fool? <laughs> just wreck him. He only had like 13 health. So over here. We got a chest. I don't think it's that important, but we can grab it, I guess. We'll have some fun. 
Right, let's grab this chest. What we got in here? Show me the goodies. Show me the goodies. A soldier bow. That that is not the goodies, guys. That's just poo poo. <laughs> right, let's push this door open. Head back out and figure out what we have to do. I see stairs right here, so I think I'm gonna go head here. What's this little guardian just chilling here? Run! <laughs> All right, we're good right now. What I see? I see a metal chest up there. Can we run and jump this way? Get up there, Link. Yee! Oh, yo! Time out. Yo, what's, yo, what's your problem? We're gonna come up this close, slow mo, and just right in your face. Now I'm gonna beat you to pieces. Get out of my face, dude. Alright, we don't need you. Alright, we're good, we're good. Let's see what we gotta do. I see you could break a wall right here. Let's, let me get up here and throw this bomb right here. Let's see what this does. Bang! Break that open. I, I don't see that doing much. Hmm. But now, can we take these doors off on the hinges? We can! Okay, so now that this door isn't connected anymore, we can actually use this for a bridge. I'm not worried about that chest. So I'm gonna just place that right here. I'm gonna glide back over here. Oh, he didn't make it up there. But we can actually use this door as a platform in order to make like a little bridge or something. Oh, let me grab these springs. But yeah, we're gonna grab our magnesis out. I'm not worried about that chest. Usually nothing good it comes out of them anyway. We can actually turn it. How do we turn this thing? I guess we gotta come to the side here like that. Like so. No, get up here, buddy. Pull that in. No, can we like... Hmm. Maybe we gotta drop it here and then pick it up a different way. There we go, just like that. And now we can drop it here and create ourselves a nice little bridge. <laughs> and then we can pick it up one more time. Actually turn it this way. Now flatten it. Make sure it comes down nice and neatly. Like that, create a path up here in order for us to grab our first spirit orb for the video. You know, making it out of this shrine, we're actually going to head down to the stables real quick because I got some extra rupees to spend. And I need some arrows big time. This is the Highland Stables. The beetle in here. My boy Beetle, look at him. What's up, dog? <laughs> wow. We're just going to talk to him, see what he has. Hopefully he has arrows on him. He does. So we can buy a batch of 10 arrows and then we're going to buy the other 20 right here for 6 rupees a piece. Which will come out to 120 rupees. This is an outrage. <laughs> It's all good. We need arrows. They are very like valuable to us when we're exploring and everything now We can actually head out here and what are we gonna go do first? Hmm, I think we're gonna head up go do this shrine and then make our way to the path over here. So let's get on it So as we make our way closer to the shrine you can actually tell like I was saying this is a rainforest and it looks so cool So we're just gonna glide over here Admire it all and make our way to this shrine right here Hopefully it's just an easy one, but it's cool. Let's head inside of it. Uh oh, we make our way in here. And we have a minor test of strength. We're just gonna whoop on this thing real quick This isn't isn't even a challenge not even a test of strength It's a minor one and we're just gonna go in here and just start whapping on them with our weapons So what's this fool want? What do you got? He's a puny little guardian sword. How much health does he have? Let's check it out 375 we're just gonna start ripping on this fool. What you want fool? Yeah What you want? Get your shield out of here. I'm gonna jump attack you. Side hop you. He's blocking with the shield very well. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Stop blocking with your shield. You broke my Lionel sword. That's it. We're bringing out the Lazal boomerang. Do we have ice arrows on? Oh, we got regular arrows. Oh, we're coming for you, dog. What you want? What you want? Get out of here. You're almost done. You're done already. One more hit. See you later. I'll take that guardian sword and the shield. And now I'm out of here. <laughs> Dude, he, didn't, he maybe swung at us like twice. <laughs> we just walked up and started beating him to pieces. But now this door is open, we can grab this chest. Hopefully we got something good. I'm hoping maybe... Hmm. Nice big two-handed weapon. <laughs> Let's see what we get. Oh, a boomerang. It's alright, we... They're alright. If it was a giant boomerang, it's different. Giant boomerangs are the bee's knees, guys. <laughs> We're okay, finishing up this shrine. We can actually just open our map and check out the path that we need to take. But if we actually just go this way, follow this path, and then cut through the river, we can actually make our way to where we want to. So we're going to start doing that. So we're going to follow this path to about... Let me mark it on my map. About to the purple location. And then we're going to make a hard left and go straight up through the river and all that in order to get to the shrine that I want to go to. Look at this. we got some enemies on the river. What's up? Look at this. I'll show you guys the Rook's protection. Look at that. It saves me from three hits while it's 
when it's fully recharged. Now we have two hits. I'll let him hit me again. What's up? Look at that. It just blocks and kind of stuns him and leaves an opening for us. So we can just whoop on him real quick. Let me switch my sword out. What we got? I guess we'll use this Lazal spear, even though it stinks. <laughs> but yeah, the Rook's protection is awesome. It is really good for fighting enemies, especially like a bunch of them. Look at this chump. Yeet. Oh, we just missed. He's shooting at us. Yeet. Get out of my face. You're done. You want one too? Yeet. Get out of here. Look at that. Double snipes real quick. Oh, you want triple snipes? Ooh, get out of my face, dog. <laughs> See, I love running through this path and all this. Look, it's our boy right here. He usually has shrine quest for us, but we don't have time for him right now. No time for him. We're just going to keep heading our way this way. And we're about to make a hard left. But look at this. We got this is like a moblin little tower or something. I don't even know what it is. Let me go on the map real quick. Let's delete this pin. Because we kind of already know where we're going. We're just going to start following to the green one now. Making our way over here. But look at this. These are the zone of ruins. So this is kind of the way we have to go in order to get to where I want to be. And look at this. This is an electro wizard, I think they're called. They usually have like different stuff. But they're fairly easy to just kill. They don't really do much. We can just snipe them like three times. Got to peek up again. But I'm not too worried about him. We're just going to get some stamina. Hopefully he doesn't shoot at the water. That will murk us. Um, we better hurry up and climb up here. Because climbing is a pain. As you can see in the bottom right corner. That it's going to thunder soon. And man dude. If it's raining and you're climbing. That's just a terrible thing. <laughs> but we can actually keep moving along here. Just through the forest and everything. And this is such a cool little thing. Once we get to like these ruins over here. Like I don't know. I just love the way they look. And it's like guarded by a bunch of Lizalfos. With electric arrows and stuff. And they just start shooting at you like crazy. But it's a good time. How far are we out? We're getting there. We are actually almost there. Another, like, couple minutes or two. But, oh, look at this, guys. This is actually, like, the best fruit in the game. Can we grab this? And climb this tree real quick. This is Hardy Dororian, which is, like, the best fruit in the game. You can mix it up and make, like, a meal that gives you, like, extra 20 hearts. Like, temporary hearts. It's so good. But they're kind of, like, hard to find. They're only found in this region. There's a couple more. But they're nice to have. So... As we make our, our way over here, this is where I want to go. This is the ruins I was talking about. Look at this on our map. Bang. Bang. Look at them all. Just chilling here. Guarding this place up. I don't know if I should run through or just start shooting at them. But we have one through protection. Look at them. They're all using their horns now. We're going to take these guys out one by one. Yeet. Oh, look at that snipe. What you want? All right. We just got to watch out for them. Kind of keep our ground. Start sniping all these fools. What's up? There's one shot. Let me get this one a little bit higher. There we go. He's dead. We need a new bow. Where's our bow at? Let's use... Let's use this knight's bow. Yeet. Shoot that one up there. Hit him once. There you go. He's dead now. We can start stabbing this one. What do you want, fool? With this terrible spear. But it's so funny how they're all just chilling here. You don't want to just run in here. Because they're all just going to start lighting you up. All seriousness. Look at him. Oh! Get out of my face. Snipe you. Look at that shot. Right in the head for critical. Can we got you two? No, you're a far boy. He's so far. Let's see if we can raise it like that. Come on, hit him. Oh, right over his head. This is like a bow war right here. Get out of here. Bang! <laughs> Pick him up. And we can actually make our way over here. Who, who's aiming? Where's this guy at? Where's he at? He's just chilling there. Yeet. See you later. <laughs> I ain't dealing with you guys. Then we got these guys guarding right here. Where's he at? Let me focus in on him. They're, they're acting like statues. These guys have a little bit more health, but we're just going to run past them. You know, we don't need to deal with them. Then we got Big Moblin right here. What do you want, fool? Yeet. Look at that backflip dodge. Now, what are we going to... We need to pull out better weapon. Let's pull out this Guardian Sword and start giving them the rackets. What's up, dog? Yo. He just slammed us, but we got the Rook's protection, which protected from us that... Which protected us from that shot. And now we're just whipping on him. Taking him out and stealing his chest. <laughs> oh, gold rupee for 300. That is such a big find. That honestly is a big find. But we can actually make our way all the way over. This is a spring of courage right here. And you can actually do your praying station and all that here. You can pray. But as you can see, there's a door in the back. And just like at the Lanayru praying station, we put the ice dragon scale in the water. So if we actually go into our... Where is it? Our inventory over here. And go into, where is it at? Our materials. Let's see if we can find it. I believe we have, yes, we have Farash's scale. We can hold it out and actually drop it in this water. 
and it lights up and opens up the door in the back, leading us to a secret shrine. There's actually three springs of courage or spring. There's spring of wisdom, spring of courage, spring of power, I believe. Each of them requires one of the dragon scales. So the Lineru one that we did required the ice scale, ice dragon scale. This one's the electric dragon. And the other one requires the fire dragon scale. Look at that. The path has been shown and it takes our scale. But it's all good. We'll take this. We actually head in the back here and go inside the shrine, which I believe it's a blessing shrine too. Yes, guys, like I said, it is a blessing shrine, so we can actually just run up here and grab ourselves this chest. Let's check it out. What we got? They usually have good items for these shrines. A thunder spear. That's all right. I thought we were going to get like a piece of armor or anything, but look at this. This thing looks sick. But now we can grab our spirit orb and keep moving along. Making our way out of this shrine, I noticed that we actually have four spirit orbs. So while we're here, there's a praying station right here. So we can actually pray and actually grab ourselves our 12th heart container. We need four more spirit orbs, which... I think maybe we just need to do like one more shrine outside of the next region we're going to go to. And then we can do that big little mission, which is huge in the game. I can't wait to show you guys. But we can grab ourselves this heart container. And make ourselves get 12 hearts. Look at that. I still want like a glass replica of that. That is so sick. That is so sick. But guys, that's going to be it for today's episode. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget, guys, follow me on Twitch at Jeans25 and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on the live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.